let's DIY a hat. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content and today we're going to be using a cardboard box to make a big hat. Now your first step is to draw a big circle on a cardboard box. The bigger the circle, the bigger the hat. As you can see, the cat was inspecting the circle that I drew. Next, you're going to want to cut that circle out. Now I did use scissors, but I would highly recommend using a box cutter as the scissors took quite a long time. The next step is you're going to want to draw out a smaller circle and we're going to be cutting flaps out with that. And what I mean is that this is where our head is going to be going into the hat. So the scissors were very, very difficult with this. This is why box cutters would be great. But you want to cut out like four to eight flaps. So as here you can see, I cut out those four pieces and put it on my head to get that general hat shape. And then I ended up cutting out four more so that it has that overall hat shape to it. Next, I laid out some batting, cut out a circle in the middle, and then traced however large the hat was, and this is going to be going on top of the hat, and then I traced out another piece of batting that will be going underneath the hat, and cut out those flaps again so that my head would be able to go through. Now to secure the batting on, the first step was to use some hot glue. So I sort of hot glued everything in place so that it would act as a good stabilizer for this batting. Now the batting is not going to be the final step, it's just allowing us to have a little padding in our hat as well as to hide some of that cardboard look since there is that big Costco written across it. But we will be adding some fabric over it to make all of this be hidden. So you just wanna basically make sure that your batting is staying nice and secure onto your hat or whatever padding you're using. Now this is where I started to take some fabric and laid this over top of my hat as well. Now the first step that I did was just cut all of this out and then hot glued it onto the hat. Now for any spot that there's a raw edge, I just pulled the fabric over so that you wouldn't be able to see the raw edge. Now I did have to go through and do some sewing so that I would gather it up on the bottom. And while my camera wasn't working for that portion, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, this was actually a really simple step and I'll show you a little later on another way you can do this. I also then cut out a larger piece of circular fabric and then gathered that up and that'll be used for the top portion of the hat to so like where your head will be going through. And unfortunately the making of that was also part of the footage that I do not have, but if you're interested, let me know and I can do a whole second video on how I made this hat with a step-by-step -step breakdown. Next, it was just time to glue on this top portion of the hat to the rest of my hat. And if you notice that anything starts to look messy, it's okay because we're gonna be adding decorations to it so you won't actually be able to see, you know, like where this hot glue is showing up at and it'll give everything a nice and clean touch. So here's what the general basis for the hat was looking like. Underneath looks pretty messy, so we will be adding some fabric to clean all of that up. And then the top portion's looking pretty good as a hat. It's a very wide brimmed hat, but that's what I was going for. Next, I started hot gluing on some decorations, and then I did try to hot glue on some tool, but that did not work. So I ended up having to go through and use um, a needle and thread. I used clear thread as that seemed like a really quick and easy way to do this. And then I just pleated the tool and gathered it and worked all the way around the hat to get this on. So since there is cardboard under here, you can't really machine sew it. So you do have to hand sew a lot of this, but that does make it so there's less supplies that you need. So here's what my hat currently looks like. It's so big, but I actually love it since it was supposed to be over the top anyways. Now for the bottom, I use this really pretty blue satin and I'm just going to be cutting out the pieces similar to how I did for the top and then gathering it around the base of the hat so that you're not able to see any of that batting or the raw pieces of fabric. And I really do think that this was like the step that brought the entire hat together. Now for the middle, you don't necessarily need to worry about cleaning up any of that portion as when it goes on your head, you're not going to be able to see it anyways so if you are worried about it looking like it has those raw edges or it's going to be coming frayed you could do some finishing but it really depends on how often you're going to be using this hat or if it's kind of like just more of a one-time thing now for the big stitches i just took very long big stitches all the way around to secure the fabric since again no one was really going to be looking at it and it was more just all to make sure that the hat looked nice but at this point, my hat was actually complete. It was a really simple DIY. It did take some time with all of that hand sewing, but I love how it turned out. It really matched the dress well, and I'll include a link to this dress in case you want to see the full product. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.